I want to go over a great technique, motion specific technique, for working on the subscapularis muscle. Now, this is a really interesting muscle and kind of hard to get to because if we look where it is, it's actually on the anterior surface of the scapula. Now, the scapula, as you move forward into protraction or retraction, your shoulder blade actually stays fairly close to the rib cage and this scapula glides up and down over the ribs. Now, if we're going to get in there, we want to make sure that we're actually right inside here. And that can be a little difficult, so we want to make sure that we get the patient in the right position so we can actually access that muscle quite easily without causing much pain. Open this aside here. Mickey might have a different opinion on that one, but... Uh, much pain. Okay. <laughs> now, we're going to have you bring your arm back like this, okay? Okay. I'm going to ask you to now bring the shoulder forward, protract it, so just come forward a little bit your whole soft there, good. And I'll take my arm and hand underneath here. Now I've got an open hand, I'm using the pads of my fingers. Now if you look at the size of this muscle, if I use my whole hand here, it actually covers a very large section of that muscle. So one right here, you doing okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go in, here's the border of the scapula, lateral border. Okay. Underneath, there's the rib cage, and then I go in between there and up. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> now bring the arm back, and I'm slightly pushing it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. You feeling that a bit? Yes. Okay, now take it back down again. So again, because this time I'll go just a little bit deeper, not much. Good. You're going to feel your ribs, so I, and then posterior. Go ahead, bring it back up. Doing okay? Yeah. And down. Not uncomfortable? No, actually it's not too bad. Okay, and last time we're going even a little bit deeper. First few times I couldn't get in that deep because it was restricted. Mm -hmm. Now, take it back. Oh, Good. Boy. Hold it there, not too fast. You have to go slow with this procedure. And take it down. Excellent. So, this is one of the really important muscles in the rotator cuff. And this is a great motion specific way of accessing that structure and releasing it.